Good day, how are you today? Guys, I feel like a lot of these videos have been very drill sergeant. I've been yelling at ya. I've been saying get your ass in gear. But I wanted to come on here today and I want to express to you how you can laugh at yourself and love yourself where you are, even if you're a fucking failure in your own eyes. Okay, you have to reframe and love and accept yourself where you are. This ain't no hippie bullshit, all right? What this is, is practical psychology. Back to normal voice. This is practical psychology. Because I know what it feels like to be in that <clears throat> wicked spiral of self-loathing and self-hatred. And it just sounds like this. Ah, no, I can't believe I just watched porn again. Ah, I went back on myself and my word. I can never do this. And then it just keeps on going worse and worse and worse. And you start thinking, now no girl will look at me. Now I feel weak. Now I feel lazy. I can't do anything. I couldn't even, I couldn't even keep this commitment to myself. And you just, it's different if you just have that as a one-time thing. But what happens is it keeps on happening. And then you get this overall energy about yourself. Oh, that's a good view. There we go. That's a good view. And you get really heavy. And you start actually identifying as that person. And it's not just a one time you feel a little bit down. You start actually feeling really heavy. <clears throat> and you start feeling like a failure. And you don't have to feel like that. That's the crazy thing. Is that right now, if you feel like you're incredibly stuck. And you keep on failing. And you start having this low self-esteem. And this self-hatred and no self-respect. The first thing you, that you have to do to get out of there is to stop the hatred. I'm not saying love the fact that you're never going to get out of there. That's not even a fact. But in your mind, that's what you're thinking is, can I really love myself here in my flawed state? Okay, there's so many layers to this that you have to let go of. And you have to love yourself where you are and forgive yourself. See, all these words that I'm using, I'm just trying to express to you the sentiment that you have to let go of this negative energy about yourself. You have to, you have to give yourself some self-love right now. That will, you need some positive momentum. If you're thinking, what the hell is all this positive, hippy, dippy self-love? I don't need any of that. Wrong. Think about it. Think about it not as love. You just gotta love yourself. Don't think of it like that. Think of it, you need some positive momentum. You need to stop fucking yourself over. You have to stop spiraling downwards. How are you gonna do that? You have to remove the root of this self-hatred and this self-energy that you've built up over a very long time. See, even intellectually, it's one thing. But deep down inside of you, your identity has to change. And it's an energetic thing. You have to feel differently about yourself. I'm not even saying, change how you mentally think. Positive bullshit. No, the positive intellectual route is a way to get start getting your energy to feel better. But we have to release that deep trauma, that deep pain, that deep depression, that you have about yourself. You might not even be aware that you have this deep negativity about yourself, about your failures, about your weakness, about your shame. You don't wanna tell anybody. You don't want anybody to know. You're hiding from yourself. You're hiding from other people. You have to love that. You have to release that. You have to forgive it. You have to get rid of it. There's a couple of different things going on that we're expressing right here. Number one, I want you, I want you to do this exercise with me right now. Because this is all theory. This is still all theory. And maybe you have resistance to what I'm saying, which is why I'm trying to convince you that you need this. I'm trying to get you to see that this is a starting point of your liberation. 
You don't know why you're so stuck. Believe me, until you're able to have some positivity, some positive energy, some belief, some hope, to get you out of your apathy, to get you out of your depression, your sadness, you have to do something. And if that anger hasn't hit, if that little bit of fighting spirit hasn't awoken in you, <coughs> I wanna get some healing for you right now. So here's what we're gonna do. Find somewhere comfy, sit down, and start relaxing. Start feeling how much tension is in your in your body and start rela releasing that and start relaxing. Start breathing deep. <sighs> start feeling into your body. Start physically relaxing, okay? Mentally, you might not even be there yet. But start physically re relaxing. That's gonna help your mind settle down. Okay, so relax everything from the top of your head all the way down to your feet. Go one body part at a time and feel the relaxation going in. And what will happen is you'll actually feel... Oh, I missed my turn. Sorry. You will actually feel your body changing as you go body part by body part. You'll feel, oh, wow, I didn't know I had that tightness there. Once you're really relaxed... I want you to feel like you're floating in water or floating in space. You're totally relaxed and you're totally at ease with yourself. I want you to look at yourself as if you are God looking at yourself right now. You're not you looking at yourself with all your negativity and all that stuff. You're God looking at yourself. You are a loving parent looking at yourself. And I want you to imagine that being as you. I want you to imagine that you are looking at yourself as that being, full of love, full of understanding. Full of love and understanding. I want you to imagine that you're seeing yourself like that. Now I want you to imagine everything that you've done and who you are that you hate. Imagine looking at yourself Look at all the things that you've done that you hate. Now what I want you to do is being that God of ultimate love and understanding, who understands why you did it, who understands the pain that you felt, who understands the confusion that you had and why you did it. I want you to look at yourself as that being, doing those same acts that you hate but now you're looking at it through the eyes of God. And I, as God, I want you to view yourself doing those things. And I want you to view it with love and understanding and forgiveness. Look at what you've done. Look at your whole life. Look at who you are right now. With love, sympathy, understanding and forgiveness. Go through everything that you're ashamed of about yourself. And what I want you to do is shower it, <clears throat> inundate it with peace, love, understanding, and forgiveness. All the failures that you've had, all the weakness that you have, all the hatred that you have even for yourself. Look at yourself as God and with all the love, understanding, and forgiveness, forgive yourself and let it go. Understand that perspective. That perspective is there. And that perspective is powerful. Go through specific acts. As in, maybe right now, you're still addicted to pornography. Look at yourself right now through the eyes of love and forgiveness and understanding and compassion. And see where you are. You're struggling. You're sad. You're confused but you wanna quit and you're looking for answers. Look at your spirit. Maybe you're even giving up. Maybe you're suicidal. Maybe you're depressed. Look at yourself however you are through the eyes of love and forgiveness and understanding and understand 
understand it's okay. Everything that happened, it's okay. You can let go of it. Everything that you are, it's okay. You can love yourself. No matter what's happened, no matter how much hatred you've built up, feel the love penetrating all that. And even if you have resistance to this, love that. Even if you're struggling to do this simple exercise, accept that. Embrace that. All the difficulty you have in every area of your life, I want you to love it and embrace it. Even if you're having a hard time doing it right now, love that and embrace it. Every person you've let down, imagine them in your mind. Imagine what you've done. Now look at it through the eyes of God with infinite love, compassion, and forgiveness. Understanding yourself and why you did it. How you were just confused and it was just an accident. And even if you feel like you did it on purpose and it wasn't an accident, realize that if it caused pain to yourself or others, it was a mistake and it was an accident. You were not conscious enough to know that you were damaging yourself and others. And look at it through the eyes of love and compassion and forgiveness. And start feeling. And start feeling the love and the understanding and the warmth that you have for yourself. And bask in it. And feel every sensation in your body as you do this. Whether it's resistance, whether you're trying to escape, or whether you're looking at yourself and you feel like crying, let it, let it be, let it happen, let everything happen. Don't resist anything, breathe into it and just observe it. Love it, love the experience that you're having right now. Especially the painful areas. Relive those and look at it through the eyes of God and love yourself. Whether it's when you were a kid, you did something that you're ashamed of, look at that. What have you done when you were younger that you're ashamed of, that you've disowned, that you have hatred towards yourself about? Think about it right now. Now apply the eyes of God to that situation. Looking at a human being, making mistakes. But you know what? He looks at it like they're not even mistakes. He looks at it like you're fumbling around doing what you know. He doesn't judge it as good or bad. He doesn't judge it with hatred. He just sees it as cause and effect. He just sees it as somebody going around and working out their programs like a robot. He doesn't judge you, so don't judge yourself. Go ahead and go through that for everything about your actions, your relationships, your body. Apply self-love in the eyes of God to your body. God's not judging you about how skinny or weak or pale or lazy you are. God's not judging you for any of that. Look at yourself through the eyes of a benevolent God and apply self-love, understanding and forgiveness to your body your mind, to all your fears and insecurities, to your emotions, feel the peace and the wholeness of being alive right now without the weight of hatred and judgment. Feel what it's like to be alive without the weight of your past mistakes. Feel the freedom that you have, as you feel elevated, that you don't have to have that negative energy. Feel the hope that's arising inside you. And understand this love is always there for you, inside yourself. And you can call on it and experience it whenever you need it. And it's there, more real than anything. And always remember that and feel the freedom your birthright to feel alive the short time that you're here 
and there's no need and there's no compulsion to hold on to self-hatred for the things you've done. You have every right to feel alive and to feel love right now and hope. That's what you're here for. Now practice this, practice self-love. Practice looking at yourself with understanding and beauty. You are a beautiful happening. You are a beautiful phenomenon. Maybe you don't even understand yourself. Even that's beautiful. Feel the love of God from inside yourself and make that a constant living reality so that every day you walk with it in a constant state of light, release, and freedom. I love you very much. And I hope you feel the self-love from the inside so that you can heal yourself and start winning. You're on the winning team now. And we're here for you. There is a league of men just like you who feel your pain and we understand you and realize you're on the winning team and together we're standing strong against our own foolishness and the accidental selfish foolishness of society and we're changing for the better and you're on the winning team my friend and there's victory and hope. Look at my face. I wanted to kill myself six or seven years ago. Look at my face now. You're on the winning team and there's more strength behind you than you know. Continue on, be vigilant and you will win. Have a great day. Stay tuned. Like and subscribe so that you can continue to listen to information like this that will heal you and give you victory.